Hi, I'm Q from On Balance. In this video, I'm going to discuss pool volume calculations. One of the questions that we get asked sometimes is how you go about finding how much water you actually have in your pool. Now, normally there's a geometric formula you can use to figure that out. Let's take a look at some examples of these formulas. First, we'll look at a square or rectangular pool. Now, when you have this kind of a pool, you can take the length, the width, the average depth, and then the number 7.5, and multiply them all together, and it'll tell you how much water there is in the pool. This works because the length times the width times the average depth in feet will give you the cubic feet volume of the pool, and then multiply that by seven and a half, which is about how many gallons of water will fit in one cubic foot, and that'll tell you how much water will, will fit in that pool. So for example, if we have a pool that's 28 feet long and 18 feet wide, it's got a shallow end depth of four feet, a deep end depth of six feet, so the average depth is about five feet. If we take the 28 and multiply that by 18 and by five, and then by seven and a half, we come up with the number 18,900. Now, since adding even less than a half an inch of water to this size pool would increase that result to over 19,000, we generally round pool volumes. We don't try to be overly precise. So in this case, we would say we have a 19,000 gallon pool. Now let's look at a round pool. The formula for round pools is to multiply pi or 3.14 times the radius squared, times the average depth of the pool, and then by 7.5. So in this example, if we have a pool that's 16 feet across and has a depth of four feet, we take pi, 3.14, multiply that by eight squared, or 64, and then by four, and by seven and a half, and we get 6,029. Again, we'll round this and say that we have a 6,000 gallon pool. Now let's take a look at an oval pool. Since an oval pool is kind of a squished circular pool, we will take 3.14 or pi and multiply that by half of the length and half of the width, which is like saying radius squared. And then we'll multiply that by the average depth and the 7.5. So for example, if we have an oval pool that's 30 feet long, and 15 feet across, and it has an average depth of four and a half feet, then we multiply 3.14, or pi, by 15 times seven and a half, then we multiply that by the, the depth, 4.5, and the 7.5, and we get 11,922. We'll round this and call it a 12,000 gallon pool. Now let's take a look at the classic kidney-shaped pool. Here we'll take the average width and the greatest length and the average depth and multiply those by seven and a half. So if we have a, a kidney-shaped pool that's 40 feet long and the widths are 20 feet and 18 feet in the two ends of the bean or kidney-shaped pool and an average depth of four and a half feet, then we'll take 19, which is the average width, by 40, the length, four and a half, the depth, and seven and a half, which is the, again, the number of gallons in a cubic foot, and we get 25,650. Now, this is going to overestimate the volume of the pool because of the rounded corners. So this pool is likely gonna be somewhere between 25 and 26,000 gallons, but it'll put you in the ballpark. The funny part comes when you need to find the volume of a freeform pool. The instructions essentially say divide the pool into rough geometric shapes, solve for those shapes, add the numbers together, and you'll be somewhere in the ballpark. As you can see from our example, this can be difficult on some pools, and determining the average depth for these kind of pools is an added challenge. So in part two of this video series, we'll show you a way of determining pool volume using chemistry in a way that works for any shape of pool.